His wife, Juliana, works as a casting director for ads in Bollywood films. After photographing them on the sets of a Kenyan washing powder shoot, um, and then in their son Julius's school, it was really on their, um, in their home on Christmas Eve when they were not celebrating because Juliana had just lost her uh, mother. So I decided to just photograph the lonely decorations on an empty wall because the mood was not festive that evening. And we stepped out and there was this beautiful banyan tree just outside Juje's house and the light was really lovely. So I did a portrait of both of them quite pensive um, on that happy sad day. Um, and those are the two pictures that I have put in the book and not any of the pictures from the Kenyan washing powder shoot or from Julius's school, sadly, where he was dancing. Um, also present in the audience, I hope, and I don't know if she's come, is Hina. Is Hina here? Okay, well, she'll, she'll soon be here. Um, whose family are the caretakers of the Siddhi Dargah in Kurla, and about whom Bero Shroff has made an entire film. By the time I met Hina, she had already been a hairdresser, she had been a blood technician, and now she was teaching children to dance in a nearby school, and she really <coughs> dances beautifully. But in the end, it was just one picture of Hina that I chose for my book, and it was a simpler, quieter picture of her with a portrait of her father, who had been a leader in the community and who had also been a stuntman in Bollywood films. And it was a beautiful portrait, and he had died, and Barrows here had met him, and he now was telling me stories about her family. And I thought, as she told me these stories, it was a more natural picture for her in her home. Um, so that's what I chose over the dancing pictures. Uh, before I end this, as I said, the book wouldn't have happened without its producers, facilitators, and supporters. Aurobind, who kept saying it will happen, as I searched high and low for a publisher. It really took me forever. And he kept making me beautiful dummies so that I would keep at it. Then Devika, director of Photo Inc. and publisher of many photographer books, who said, let's just do it. And last but not least, for their generous support, Exim Bank and Sipla's Kalpataru Trust. Thank you, Mr. Ranganathan. You're not here this evening, but ably represented by Mr. Sinati and Mr. Rani. And thank you, Rumana. I don't know where you are. I hope you're here this evening um, for your immediate support when I went to you. Earlier this week, at the CII Exim Bank Conclave on India-Africa Project Partnership in New Delhi, Exim Bank generously invited me and released and gifted my book to each attending African head of state and delegate. I'm happy to report that many African leaders now have a book on the Siddhis. Without Exim Banks and Sipla's generosity, the working dummies would have remained in my drawer and this book would never have seen the light of day. It's been a long but worthwhile wait. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is just run you through a few photographs in the book. I was very worried when I saw the PowerPoint, but um, everyone in control here said, don't worry about it because the scans were small. Now they're going to be seen big and forget about it. You just have to go with the flow and get a sense. So um, now I'm going to, so this is the cover. Okay, the cover, um, the cover is a lovely girl called Shabnam, and she was wearing this gorgeous pink dupatta. It makes me now really feel I want to shoot in color. And um, uh, she, uh, she, her sister is Hirbai Ben. Uh, her sister is married to Hirbai Ben's son, Razak. So when I was visiting Hirbai Ben one afternoon, and she said, oh, Ketki Ben, I fixed up Razak's marriage. So I said, to who? And he, she said, she's a lovely girl, but she lives four hours away in Jafrabad. 
I said, come on, Razak, just jump into the car and let's just drive to Jafrabad. He said, Are Ben, how can we do it? How can we do it? Her father's so conservative. He's a police officer. Her mother doesn't look up. And, you know, we're going to just shock them because just the two families have met. But, of course, I'm deeply in love with her. I said, chalo, chalo, let's just go. So we went and um, uh, Ashiana was completely shocked. My friend Falguni, who's here, was also there that day. She was completely shocked. And while she and Razak were exchanging glances and I gave them some time together, I said to uh, Shabnam uh, that, so when is it your turn next? And this was her response. And now, of course, she's married and I've attended her wedding. And I think the picture really worked for me because of her immediate response to me and my camera, but also because of the floral pattern of the curtain of her bedroom in which we were standing. Okay, so this is in the Karnatak forests. And uh, this little girl was coming home from school. She had a many hour walk. And by that time I had met her mother. And so I went with her mother, whose name was Sushila, to pick her up from school. And the light was gorgeous and the forest was lush. And you know, I was really happy. Um, this is Reshma, and she's one of the girls who works with strict Hirbai Ben. And she, uh, Hirbai Ben doesn't allow her to miss school. And she comes and she has her rotis here, and then she sits and gets bullied by Hirbai Ben. This is in Hirbai Ben's wadi. This is in Kutch. Um, uh, this woman's name is Ramzama, and uh, she was laughing hysterically because, of course, before you photograph the Siddhi, they're full of questions for you, which, you know, is only natural. And uh, be, given the age I was and having a young daughter, she thought there was something really, you know, crazy that I had just one child and I was 48 and this child wasn't even 10 by then. So I, I knew she was pregnant, so I just said, and she looked so young, so I said, is this your first child? She just threw her head back and laughed, because of course it was her fourth. Um, these are Hirbai Ben's uh, twin granddaughters, and I remember when Devika was helping me select pictures for the book, she said, Ketu, now just keep this one out, okay? Again, twins and twin spotting and all that, you know, it's just too much. But um, I know them so well, and I just, you know, I had to have them in the book, and this was their school uniform, and they'd come home from school, and this is Hirbai Ben's house. Uh, this is one of the first pictures I took, um, and the girl's name is Suki, and she was wearing this extraordinary dress, and it was very early in the morning, and she had just come out to brush her teeth, and I, I did this portrait. This is in Sirwan, and uh, awful light. I think the, uh, there was a journalist here this morning who was asking me uh, whether I can control my technique in every shot, and I can't. And sometimes it's the light of day, sometimes it's just my poor technical sense. And this was one of those situations where everything was going wrong, and Devika was just cursing me as we were trying to get this image right for the book. And I think she's done a good job. Um, this is uh, behind the Chilla in Jambur, which Barrows would know. And this is during the Uras celebrations, which take place uh, annually um, in celebration of their ancestral saint, Baba Gur, whose darga is in Ratanpur. Um, as is the darga of his brother Baba Habash and his sister Mai Mishra, both th all three very powerful saints. And um, perhaps when Bero shows you the film, she can tell you about her engagement um, with the worship. So anyway, I was, I was there and I'm always looking for what's happening around rather than what's happening inside. And uh, this tree was just extraordinary. And these kids were like extensions of the branches of the tree. And um, uh, so this was something I wanted to photograph. 
This is in Bhavnagar, just outside their darga, and it was late at night, and I had just attended a, a goma dance, but not in peacock feathers, just, they were just wearing their ordinary clothes <coughs> on an ordinary Juma day. And um, after that, and everyone was coming out, the kids just hadn't had enough, you know, the dance wasn't good enough, so they started um, this game of the further they put their chapels to see how much further you can jump over. So I shot this with a flash with that band baja behind. This is Jambur, the first year I photographed. This is another beautiful girl from Jambur. These are three boys from uh, Randir, which is near Surat, and which, is, um, which has quite a large Siddhi population. And Shilpa Ben, who's here today, uh, kindly arranged for, for me to meet uh, Farah, who took me into Randir. And this was late in the evening when the boys come out to eat chana, and this is on the banks of the Tapi River. Um, these are two of the four boys who frightened me the first day I went into Jambur, uh, Majid and Hussein. Uh, this is a boy in Sirwan. I was with Mahmood when I took this picture, and I guess when he saw me with my camera, he said, I'll shoot you too. So this is in Bhavnagar, where a lot of the Siddhi, except for Farida's family, live in and around the Darga. This lady lost her sight to a childhood disease, and uh, she always sat at the corner of the street every time I went back. This is the uh, Chilla in Ahmedabad, in the Patharkua colony. And um, the tile and the drawing and the etching uh, is, is quite similar in many of the dargas and chillas, which Behrouz knows well. This is Hina, and I don't know if Hina's come as yet. Um, but this is Hina at home with a portrait of her father. And here are my handsome couple, Juje and Juliana. Uh, this is a young girl called Rizwana from Ratanpur. And you know, this, the Siddhi love, they love any kind of celebration. And they're always ready to celebrate and cook and dance and dress well. And so there was, of course, a reception that evening of Shakil's. And Rizwana was taking her time getting dressed up. And uh, I shot this while she was getting ready. And this is her after she got ready. And this was also at an Uruz, uh, which generally happens in the monsoon times, right? Ah, yeah, and I, I always remember clouds during Uruz. This is a boy who skipped school when I took the picture. And these are guests at a wedding. And this is uh, Hasina Ben Badshah, a wonderful doyen of the community, um, with her sixth grandson. And um, through Daryl, who is here, and Barrows, I met Helena Basu who perhaps is the, one of the greatest authority on the Siddhi. She's a German anthropologist, and uh, she's written a seminal, very academic work on the Siddhi. And she had lived with them for, what, two years? Two and a half years. She spoke Gujarati fluently. By the time I met her, she had come to Bombay. She had done the work. It was published. And Behrouz, she and I took off to Baruch, and then off to Ratanpur, um, 
and I saw the way um, the community greeted Helena. It was quite extraordinary. And she said the only thing she left behind in their cupboard, which was her only luxury, was her hair dryer. So they pulled that out. And um, later that day, we went to a fakir's cave. And I was exposed to a side of the Siddhi that uh, perhaps only Helena could have taken me to. Um, this is a man Mahmood and I met outside the Junagar Zoo. And he was able to tell us so much about the zoo. And Mahmood was so restless to get into more intellectual questions. This is in Jambul. This is um, at the wedding in Surendranagar, right next to Wadwan. And this was this great woman who, by the end of the evening, was dancing and singing, and Amina Ben. This is in Karnataka, in a place called Bilki, school children. And Jamnagar in the Jamaat Khana. And back in Gujarat. This is Hyderabad. He works as a cook in Diu, and uh, we went to his restaurant. This is Diu. This is, um, I was in the royal palace in Sachin, um, which uh, has a Siddhi king, and uh, Farah is his younger sister, and uh, I was invited to a performance of the Goma, and I was just lucky that I was sitting there with my flash at the right time when the coconut just burst open. And uh, although I'm not sure whether this picture really goes with my book, I just thought it's so dramatic, and um, I just put it in. This is in Ratanpur, and this is Baba Habash. And this is the evening loban. And uh, the man up there plays the drums. And someone goes, the, the mujavar, goes around with the loban. And um, this woman is probably a devotee. And I had been there for several hours. So I had also seen um, the tree to which they chop off their hair and pin it. Um, I think it's for fertility. I think it's it's for uh, it's for fertility, and um, and then they do rounds around here, and the drumming gets louder and louder and louder, and it's so beautiful these three dar dargas because I think Beros's film will give you a sense of how the hills are spaced out, and now at 50 plus all of us are panting by the time we get to the third darga except for Kurshid the hiker. Um, this is one of the healing and exorcism uh, experiences that I witnessed, and this was outside the Jambur Chilla. And I think this is the last image I'm showing you, but this is a boy um, on a lake catching fish in Karnataka, and my book ends with this image. Thank you. While we just get the stage ready for our conversation, a couple of uh, just a few things about uh, Gyan Prava. For those of you who are coming here for the first time, we've been around for now nearly six years, and our, though our parent institution has been around for 15 in Banaras, and do go to see it in Banaras when you are there at some point. And if you do want to sort of uh, 
be in the loop as to what all we do here. There's a little register outside. Put your email ID, and you'll be getting all our announcements. That's if you want it. Our partner for today has been the Focus Festival of Photography. And there's Matthew right here. It's a Biennale, the Photography Festival, which has been, which opened last week and will continue for another week. And so do be part, go on to the website and check everything that the, f the festival is trying to accomplish. So now, oh, sorry, Devika.